Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carrie of Beauty Mind Spirit and today I'm going to show you quite a few products that I have been really loving over the last two to three months. I'm gonna go through them as fast as I can just to save on time. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So I've been really loving and using the Natural Eye Palette again from Too Faced. This is one of the earlier edition ones, but I know that the one that they have that's out now has pretty much the same colors. I think there's maybe one or two that's not the same, but pretty similar, but this palette is amazing. I specifically love to use this nude beach shade right here. It is stunning. It's so flattering on many, many skin tones and many eye colors. It's so, um, again, just shimmery and flattering. I feel like whenever I wear this, my eyes stand out and I get a lot of compliments. So that is my favorite shade. All of them are very, very beautiful. This Honey Pot one is so gorgeous. Um, this dark brown shimmery one is beautiful. And then the matte shades are so buttery, so creamy and just amazing. Real quick, just excuse my crazy hair. I've been experimenting with heatless curling so I tried curling my hair and slept on it last night and it's just like pretty wild and crazy. I like it but it's still a little crazy and I'm figuring out how to style it so just bear with me. <laughs> okay the next product would be this Sonia Kashuk this bronzer and blush duo. I just used this in my last video and I probably use this in a few others. This is in the shade Glimmer and it's just amazing. This bronze is so flattering and it's glowy and the blush is glowy as well. I'm wearing it today but it just has like a nice complimentary look to the skin and I wear this a lot. In conjunction with this product, I have been using the e.l.f. Kabuki face brush. I have been using the side of it like taking it and just swiping it into the side and using the side to just carve out a little bit of my cheekbones for like a contour. And then I turn it just a little bit and smooth it out with a little bit of extra bronzer. And it just really warms up the cheeks in such a beautiful way. And I think because of the, the way this is shaped, it blends it out also very seamless, seamlessly. And then I take the top of it and I dab it into the blush and then apply it to my cheekbones. And it also just like blends it out. It makes it look really smooth and well blended. So I love using these two in conjunction with each other. The next product I want to talk about is a highlighter. This is from Revolution. This is currently sold at Ulta. And it's their Vivid Baked Highlighter in the color Golden Lights. This is such a flattering golden champagne highlight. It is so beautiful on the skin. I'm wearing it as my highlight today. It's very pigmented. It's just gorgeous. This is going to look good on fair skin tones. Fair to like potentially medium depending on where you fall in that category. For foundation, I have been really enjoying this EX1 Invisaware foundation only if I apply it with a damp beauty blender. Um, if I apply it with a brush or anything else, it can look a little too heavy on the skin. But this is a beautiful foundation. It has a wonderful coverage to it. It pretty much makes your skin look completely flawless. It covers pores, acne, scars, all that kind of stuff. And I feel like it lasts a long time on the skin and everything else that I put on after blends out and works very nice with the formulation of it. So it's not going to make blush or bronze or anything like that patchy. Um, the only downside is that these colors run a little darker. So I really can only wear this when I'm self tanned. This is the lightest shade that it comes in and then the rest of them are darker. So people with medium to darker skin tones are going to really, really love this brand, especially if you have more like yellow toned or olive toned skin. They're also geared more towards the yellow base. So um, yeah, but this is a great product and I highly recommend it if you're looking for a foundation that can do all of that for you. I am going to talk about concealers. So I feel like I've had such a hit with concealers. I'm sure I already talked about this one. I'm going to talk about it again, but it's just the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. It's a very, very nice consistency liquid concealer. It blends out very nicely. It has a nice glow to the skin, so it highlights as well as conceals. And it's just beautiful. It's so flattering on the skin, and I feel like when people wear it, it just... I've seen people on camera wear it. It looks really good on camera as well as real life. So this is a great concealer to, to try if you're on the hunt for that. As far as correcting concealers go, I've never really had a lot of good luck with them. I've tried pink tone, salmon tone ones, and although they're really good at canceling out more bluish, I guess I have a little bit more of like a mix of red and purple in my skin. So I found that the yellow one tends to work a lot better for me. This is by far the best 
covering correcting concealer I have ever used for my under eyes and I can tell you I have had the worst luck <laughs> with concealing my under eye circles no. sorry Avon's right outside my door he gets a little excited when he plays this game so but they also have like a correcting like just different color correcting concealers this one is just so good and it's from elf cosmetics it was like a dollar at Target on sale I think normally it's like two or three dollars. You need this, go get it right away. So next up, I'm gonna talk about a couple face powders that I've been using. This is the Ben Nye Pressed Banana Powder. I, I bought this, gosh, a long time ago. This has lasted me quite a while. I'm starting to hit pan on it now. This was around nine dollars, and I'll have a link. All, all the products I talk about today, I'll list in my blog with direct links. But this one, this one has lasted me quite a while. And what, basically, what I do with this is I set all the concealer that I have on my face with this one. I set my under eye area. I set my um, my chin, my nose, pretty much anywhere I put concealer on, I set with this and it keeps the brightening effect there. It doesn't take that away and I find that it's just beautiful formula. It's finely milled. It doesn't dry out my skin. It doesn't, you know, crease on me or anything like that. It's just a really beautiful powder. For the rest of my face, I use the Cargo HD powder and this one I immediately fell in love with like the first time that I wore it. In fact, I have used this only two times, but I can tell you just after using it again today, this is amazing powder. It's just so good, and um, I just I haven't really seen a powder give me such flawless looking skin where it doesn't irritate my skin. I tend to break out very very easily. It's not breaking me out. It's not causing any sort of irritation. It doesn't accentuate my my wrinkles on my forehead or anything like that, and it adds a little bit of extra coverage which is really really nice so if I wanted to on a day where I don't have a lot of time to do my makeup I could probably just throw this on with a powder brush and it would give me a nice coverage so this is a beautiful powder and I recommend it it is a little pricey though but I think it's worth it. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about a couple of lip products that I have been using. I am wearing the lip liner today. This is the Isadora Maca Rose or Mocha Rose Perfect Lip Liner. I love the formula, I love the color. The color is this beautiful, like brown, rosy toned lip liner. So it's natural looking enough to define your lips really well and add a nice depth around them and to line them very nicely and then it's you know, just a flattering color to give you a nice tone that seems to work well with a lot of lip colors. So I can go with a nice nude with it or I can go with a brown. Um, it, it just works so well. So I definitely love this one. And then the other one is this MAC Ruby Rue lipstick. I finally jumped on the bandwagon of this and I know exactly why people love this lipstick. It is just so flattering. The color is one of a kind. It's a matte lipstick. You know, a lot of people say that it can really dry out your lips. I always tend to moisturize my lips and I'm pretty good about that and I have not experienced that myself. Um, <laughs> but anyway, this is such a beautiful color. It's so flattering. It's such a beautiful red. I have been wearing this a lot this month. So for a while now, I have been using the Essence Eyeliner Pen and it's waterproof. This is such a great pen. Um, the tip is very fine. You can do like a very thin line or you can, you know, thicken it out. I just find that it lasts a long time. It's really affordable. It doesn't seem to transfer or make weird lines in my skin from like smudging or leaking or anything like that. It's just a really nice affordable eyeliner from Ulta that I got and I really like it. For another eyeliner that I recommend would be this Too Faced Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner. This is in the color black. It's super black. It lasts such a long time. It glides on so easily. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but it's so black and it lasts on the waterline and I had been looking for some options in regards to that and this is one of them that I really, really like. So if you're in the market for a waterproof eyeliner that you need for a night out or something to last a long time, especially for dramatic eye looks, this Too Faced one is really good. Mascaras. I have been wearing a lot of the Unique 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. This is all one of my all-time favorite mascaras. I try to switch things up in my videos, but this is something I always go back to. I love this mascara set. I have like 
videos and conversations about this mascara but it's like a, a really nice natural mascara that actually volumizes lengthens, separates and gives you definitely a false eyelash look so love this mascara definitely recommend it i'll have a demo and review and all that kind of stuff videos linked below so if you're more curious about this mascara i will let you know and give you that information. And then the other mascara that I've been loving again is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a quick, easy, volumizing mascara, super volumizing I should say, and it's just amazing. The brush is nice and thick, the formula is really great, it's kind of like moussey, and it doesn't weigh down my lashes or anything like that. All in all, such a really good volumizing mascara, I love it. So good. Okay, so moving on, I have some perfume items and also I have a ton of hair stuff to go through. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the perfumes. I have been wearing this perfume a lot. This is the Lace Perfume. I got this at Charming Charlie's. It's a very floral, uplifting, light scent. So if you like floral scents, that are light and, and whatnot, you'll probably really like this one. The next one is from Scentbird. I got this two months ago, I believe. This is the St. Laurent Black Opium Perfume. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you go to Scentbird, this one has a five-star rating. It's so good. It's very, it's a little intense, but it's very sensual smelling. It's got a sweet note to it. Slightly powdery, but in a good way, not old-fashioned way. And I want to say a little musky. It's a very sexy nighttime scent, and it lasts a long time. So, love this one. I'll have a link below if you're curious about Scentbird. And then the last perfume that I've been really liking is um, a perfume by Taylor Swift. It's called Incredible Things. I actually smelled this when I was in Target. Somebody had sprayed it on and I walked over to the aisle and I smelled it and I was like, wow, that smells so good. It actually reminds me of like a hybrid between a man's cologne and a female's cologne. It's got like this edge to it and I love it. Maybe it's because I'm bisexual, I don't know. <laughs> but it's so nice and it's a very unique scent. Like I can't even explain it. can't explain it. It's sweet and serious <laughs> and flirty and masculine. I don't know. It's very interesting. So there's that one. Okay, so, so I have a, a lot of very fine hair and one of the struggles that I have is volume. You would not guess it. I mean, my hair looks really full in this video. It looks like I have a ton of it and that has to do with my amazing product from Aveda. Um, I have talked about this a lot. I'm pretty sure it's been featured in a lot of my other favorite videos, but every month I can't live without this. This is the Thickening Tonic Spray. This is amazing. I don't know how it does what it does, but it basically thickens my hair. And I like to concentrate it a lot, like more so on my roots. My hair's been a little dry lately because of the winter, so I don't really like to take it down. It's not terribly dry like sea salt sprays or anything like that. It's probably like a hybrid between just like a typical volumizing spray and a little bit of like a sea salt spray, just a little bit. But you will notice a difference the very first time that you use this. You will feel it in your hair. It feels thicker, it just infuses it somehow and just like, gives you volume and it lasts. Like I feel like, you know, that even the next day when I need to freshen up with dry shampoo, my hair still looks very, very volumized. I highly recommend this still. This is like my fourth bottle, not even kidding. Okay, speaking of dry shampoo, I found my new favorite dry shampoo and I'm surprised because Batiste has been my favorite for the last like three years. This one is actually better. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo and the reason why it's better is because it actually cleans the hair and you can tell. I feel like it lasts longer than the Batiste. Unfortunately for me, like the Batiste gives me volume and it's great, but then by the end of the day, my hair starts to feel kind of heavy and weighed down and just kind of like a little dirty. This one does not give me that feeling. This is so amazing. I love it. I wish it was 
the same price as Batiste. It's actually more expensive, but it's worth it. It's really, really good. So the next thing is from Lush. This is one of their shampoo bars. This is like a Rose Argan oil one. This makes my hair super shiny and it's amazing. I can't even get it out of the container. But I bought this container and I bought this. Um, I think this was like around $12 and it lasts like over like 100 shampoos or something like that. But you basically take this out, you wet it, you kind of like rub it into your hair, rub it into your hands and then put this shampoo, you know, scrunch it into your hair. It smells so good, so good. Pretty much just like the Rose Argan body conditioner. So I love using this when I, when I feel like my hair needs a, a shine. I feel like it's really good at that. The next thing is Happy Happy Joy Joy Conditioner from Lush. This smells so good and... I mainly got it just because of the aroma, but it does a really good job conditioning as well. I tend to mix this with my Body Shop Banana Conditioner, so I mix these two together for extra conditioning during the winter. But yeah, it smells so good and it lasts in your hair. If you don't blow dry your hair or anything like that, it'll last in your hair and your hair smells so good, so, so good. But speaking of moisture and winter, Another really good conditioner is from OGX, and this is the Moisture and Vitamin B5 conditioner. It smells good, and it makes my hair really conditioned and more put together looking, like not as frizzy. So I have been using this a lot more recently, whereas I mainly use this um, spring, summer, fall, and then winter I'm using like a stronger conditioner just because I need that extra moisture. So this one is really, really good. Okay, the last few items here. I have three left. Um, the first thing is this Tool Structure uh, Teasing Comb. This is a really nice teasing comb. I got this at Sally's Beauty for like two or three dollars. It was very, very affordable. I love that it has the pointy end here to help suction the hair. It does a really good job like, you know, combing and smoothing it down to wherever you tease. So if you're looking for a nice teasing brush that's affordable, this is a really good option. To smooth my hair and to add shine, I've been loving Aveda's Brilliant Finishing Gloss. This is a really nice product. You only use a little bit at a time, especially if you have more thin hair. Um, concentrate it more so at the ends and the mid shaft of your hair. I would not put this near your roots at all because it's definitely too heavy for that. But it smells good and it works really good at shine and frizz control. And then the last product is this hairspray that I am just, I've always, I always find myself coming back to this one, but it's the Aveda Air Control Hairspray. Um, it is such a unique, uplifting scent. I love how this smells. It is a flexible hold, so it holds your hair, but it also, you know, if you need to like fix it up eventually or whatever, it's not going to leave it crunchy or anything like that. It's just a nice light hold hairspray. Okay, so now I want to talk about products that I do not like. There's three that I wanted to mention to you guys. The first one is going to shock some people because there's such a hype about it. A lot of people really like this powder. I liked it too, a little bit, for a little while, <laughs> but then I just realized that I it just dried my skin out and I just feel like I just like the cargo powder better and I just have found other powders to work a lot better for me. But this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I do not like to use this. I don't like to set my face with it. I do not like to set my under eyes with it. I feel like it can caught my fine lines more. I just don't feel like it lasts on my face that long. So yeah, I just, I don't know. I For me, it doesn't work very well. So I'm gonna return this actually. The next two items are concealers. I heard a lot of people talk about this Becca under eye brightening corrector. It is way, way too heavy for the under eyes. I can't use this. If you have any pores right under here that you're concerned about, I feel like this accentuates them. It just did not do a really good job for me. It looked heavy, it looked cakey, it looked gross. It's just not very good. And then the next one is the Sephora Bright Future, and this is in the color Meringue. This is supposed to be like a brightening concealer with like a pink, kind of like a pinkish tone to it. I think the formula is nice. I just did not like the color. I felt like it just looked really unnatural. So I don't recommend this. This doesn't look natural under the eyes. Um, and I feel like it just, it just wasn't a really good product. It didn't really settle nice either. So those are my non-faves. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are doing well. You guys should definitely follow me on Snapchat. That's another favorite of mine this month. I have been loving snapping with people and seeing other people's Snapchats. I am under Beauty M Spirit, and I'll have a link below or the information. But if you are on Snapchat, you should totally add me, and I'll add you back. And yeah, that's about it. So you guys take care, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.